Hi ladies and gents, my name is Tom Gibson and in today's video we're looking at the four best microphone options for distance learning on any budget. The way that I'm gonna be testing these microphones is I'm actually gonna have everything running uh, through my MacBook Pro. It's a 2016 MacBook Pro, so you can kind of hear what it sounds like. Right now, at the beginning of this, I'm, I'm recording on my nicer microphone, which is not a budget microphone, so it's the end of the Rode NTG2, if you're curious, uh, but I, I, I don't recommend that for most teachers. The most expensive option I'll be talking about today is about $80, uh, but let's get started at the bottom end, uh, spending no money. So let's here first what the internal microphone sounds like. This is the sound of the laptop, my 2016 MacBook Pro, no microphone at all. This is likely what it sounds like if I were to just open up my computer and make a video or go onto Zoom. It might actually be even more degraded onto Zoom because it's going to be processed and everything to send out over the internet. Next up are the Apple EarPods. If you have an iPhone, you probably already have a pair of these in your house and let's hear what this sounds like. These are the Apple EarPods. These are actually better quality than the AirPods uh, because it is wired in and the AirPods is Bluetooth and so Apple has to compress the microphone audio to be able to send it over Bluetooth. And so if you actually have some of these, even though you're wired in, it doesn't look as chic, your audio quality will be a little bit better. If you don't have a pair of these, they are about $18, $19 on Amazon and I'll link to that down below as well. The next option you're gonna hear is the lapel mic by a company called Boya. This is what the lapel mic sounds like plugged into my MacBook Pro. This might be a good option if you are more up and about. The cable that it comes with is, I, don't, I haven't unraveled it because it's kind of nicely coiled. The cable it comes with is really long um, and so if you're in a situation maybe where you have a whiteboard behind you and you kind of want to get up and move but the further away from your computer you get the worse the audio gets, this keeps the audio sounding clear and as long as you don't get so far away uh, the wire is going to take you much further than the AirPod, the, Air, the Apple EarPods will. Um, so this could be a good option for you or if you just want something a little less obvious, you don't want things hanging from your ears or a headset or a microphone in front of you, this could be a good option for you as well. Next up is a headset by a company called MPAL. I researched several headsets and I really felt this one had the best audio, uh, so let's take a listen. This is the audio of the MPAL headset. Um, if you are doing more of the synchronous teaching, you've got Zoom classes and you need to also hear your students, but you also want good audio, this could be a good option. If you're not really doing synchronous teaching and you're really just creating video lessons that the students are watching on their own time, the headset option isn't really necessary because you don't need to be able to also hear the students um, as well. Some people think the headset look is stupid. I think it looks kind of cool. Granted, these are more like telemarketer headsets than like cool gaming <laughs> headsets, but they get the job done. Uh, they're, they're comfortable on the ears, but you don't hear much outside noise. Not even, you don't really even hear yourself speaking. It's almost as if when you like plug your ears and you can hear yourself only in your own head. I generally like headphones that have a little bit more breathing um, and I can hear a little bit more external noises, but this might actually be a good option if you need something to really drown out the rest of the noise around you. So this is the audio from the MPOW headset. And the last one we're gonna look at is this Fifine USB microphone. This one's the most expensive of the one on the list. It's $75. I think they might've just bumped it up to 83 um, at the time of recording this, but it was 75 when I bought it a couple weeks ago. This is the one that I would go for, but I'm kind of like an audio nerd. So let's hear what it sounds like. This is the sound of the Fifine USB microphone. Um, I love that for the $80 that you're spending, you actually get this boom arm as well as you can get a, 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 a pop, what's called a pop filter if you don't want your p t k t those kind of sounds to like hit the hit the uh, the, audio, the diaphragm inside of the microphone. Um, I don't think it, it's really necessary for this context. I think having this little um, muffler, this little wind sock on there is probably uh, plenty that's gonna get those little those little pluses of what they're called. Um, I like that it also comes, if you don't really like this look of having it on a stand like this, it also comes with a little mount that you can just put on your desk. Um, but the reason I like the, the boom arm so much better is that you can get it closer to your your mouth. Uh, the name of the game with audio is proximity. So the closer you can get the microphone to your mouth, the better. Um, you can hear that even when it goes a little bit further away and I angle it up to myself, um, the audio is not as clear as 
when it's right there in front of me. And so again, it's really preference as far as what you want things to look like. If you kind of feel this is obnoxious and just really in the way, uh, then then probably not for you. But if you're like, oh, it's kind of cool. Like I'm like a radio DJ and I can move this around. I got my own little podcast going on. Um, then Then this might be a good mic for you. It's got a little volume knob on there as well, so you can kind of set the levels uh, a little bit more easily than you can some of the other the other microphones there. And so just one after the other, let me let you listen to all of those microphones and you can kind of hear the difference between each of them given this context that I'm in. This is the sound of the laptop, my 2016 MacBook Pro, no microphone at all. This is the sound of the wired Apple EarPods plugged into my MacBook Pro. This is the sound of the Boya lapel microphone. This is the audio from the MPOW headset. This is the Fifine USB microphone. So keep in mind that when you actually use these microphones on Zoom or if maybe you're using another app to record videos like Loom, which is uh, what the, the app that I recommend for most teachers making videos, um, the audio will be degraded a little bit compared to what you heard, but this gives you kind of a baseline of what it would sound like um, without being processed through an app or going over the internet uh, and just hear what sounds the best in this natural environment. All of the links to each of these microphones are down below. They are a affiliate links. So if you end up using the link down below, I'll get a commission of it. It'll support the work that I'm doing to try to uh, help teachers do this remote teaching distance learning thing uh, well. But the price is the same to you regardless if you use those affiliate links or not. If you are wanting to do more video lessons for your students during distance learning, but you're not really sure how to get started and the whole world of, 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 of recording videos and planning them and getting them online and everything feels kind of daunting to you, I just created created a course for educators called How to Create Successful Videos for distance learning. And I teach you how to connect with your students through engaging videos, even if you have no prior experience in creating videos. The course is broken up into three modules. The first module is planning your videos. The second module really dives into the creation of the videos, how to do it if you don't wanna buy any extra tech and how to do it if you wanna buy a little bit more tech. I talk about some of the microphones that I included in this video today. And the third module actually talks about how to assign and assess the videos to your students. The whole course was built around the beginner in mind. Uh, so those who, who have no prior experience with, with creating videos and editing videos and, and publishing them, you'll get the support that you need in this course. So if you're interested in the course, you can go down below. There's a link to the course so you can enroll and start creating successful videos for your students during distance learning. That said, my name is Tom Gibson. I hope you learned something today that'll help you create meaningful and memorable experiences for your students, even if you are doing distance learning. Be sure to subscribe if you want to stay in the loop with any more videos that I create on distance learning and the lessons that I'm doing with distance learning in my middle school STEM classes. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video.